This is a video tip on how to load the untouched or wild horse. So the chute is not too narrow where the horse can panic, but it's not so wide she just can run past you or run around. So basically we put her in the chute, uh, had her go down, walk down calmly and nicely to the trailer. And as long as we try to keep her head facing the inside of the trailer and uh, have her keep going forward slowly, uh, she'll go into the trailer so she'll put her head in the trailer and eventually she'll take a couple of steps in the trailer and there she's thinking about it a little bit and yes there is some hay in the manger in the trailer so as soon as she steps in she'll be able to get to her feed so this is going to be the easiest way to uh, put a untouched or wild horse into the trailer and uh, you just want to do it nice and easy uh, that is Sarah um, that is helping me since I injured my leg she's been helping me and you just want to put little bits of pressure on at a time you don't want to try to race them in you don't want to try to push them in you want to do everything in a nice calm relaxed manner and with steps that the horse can understand in a calm relaxed manner so uh, you know we're just standing there uh, patience in this is a virtue so nobody gets hurt and the horse doesn't get hurt and her head is facing the trailer so we're just going to kind of wait on her and here and there we'll kind of put a little bit of pressure on her like Sarah is doing right there and uh, now she's just looking back at Sarah is asking hey what do you want me to do and Sarah is going to keep putting a little bit of pressure on her and there as soon as her head faced back towards the trailer Sarah took the pressure off and this is teaching her you know, that we do want her to go in. There she is thinking about going in. Uh, thinking about it a little bit. And that's good because her head is now in the trailer. And if we keep her head in the trailer and going forward, eventually her body is going to follow her head right into the trailer. So um, there she stopped. And now she's going to face Sarah a little bit. And that's what she's been taught to do in the round pin is to face us when we put pressure on her. But now we're asking her to uh, go away from us. There she turned around and was facing Sarah again. So we're just going to keep working with her here. Sarah's going to keep putting pressure on her. Little bits at a time. To try to get her to turn around and at least go ahead and face the trailer. She's not putting a whole lot of pressure on. But a little bit of pressure on. And uh, that is fire. And fire faced her because that's what fire thought she wanted her to do. And that's all right, you know, uh, Fire's trying to do the right thing. And so Sarah's going to keep putting some pressure on there. And uh, eventually Fire's going to turn around and face the trailer again. And just little bits and tiny bits, a little bit of pressure like uh, Sarah is doing right now. Uh, there she tried to go to the uh, left a little bit. Now she's facing back to the right. But just little bits of pressure and, you know, you can see how she turned around there a little bit. And that's why we don't want it super wide, the, the shoot super wide like we have here. Uh, just, you know, wide enough to where, you know, she's not going to panic. So if it was too narrow, she definitely would panic. And then, uh, so too narrow is bad and too wide, she'd be able to dart off to the left or to the right and go around you. And we don't want that either. So it's just wide enough to where she's not going to panic. And so Sarah's going to keep ask, asking, uh, putting a little bit of pressure on her. And, you know, sometimes this takes us, you know, maybe five, ten minutes. Don't ever be in a hurry doing this. If you get in a hurry, it's going to take you that much longer to uh, get your horse, the wild or untouched horse, into the trailer. So, uh, Sarah's going to keep putting a little bit of pressure on her there. Fire is uh, facing the trailer again. Uh, she put her nose in there for a moment, and that was good enough. So, uh, Sarah's going to continue putting a little bit of pressure on her here. A little bit of pressure from the hind and just keep putting the pressure on until fire faces back towards the trailer right there and then Sarah will go ahead and take the pressure off because fire just did things we wanted her to do now fire is starting to get a little good there she put a foot in and then you'd want to stop take you'd want to take all the pressure off there's two feet in and there's two feet out so that was excellent really really nice really really good and so uh, Sarah's just going to go ahead and ask for a little bit more pressure until she puts another foot in and she put two feet in that time. So Sarah will take off the pressure now. And Fire's kind of checking out the inside of the trailer there. Like I said, there's feet in the manger for her. Um, and so she, we're going to 
keep working with her here she's almost all the way in but not quite and there she took another step forward into the trailer and then here in a minute she'll get all the way into the trailer and we'll go ahead and close the trailer doors when they did close the trailer doors she got a little excited but not too bad and that was it so going on here uh, Sarah's going to add a little bit more pressure here in a minute to get her in then Billy on the left and Lynn on the right will go ahead and shut the trailer doors so Sarah's going to put a little bit more pressure and there she goes in and then here the doors go shut and that's how you do the wild horse into the trailer the untouched horse hope you enjoyed the video thank you